Welcome to Tech News Briefing. It's Thursday, July 27th. I'm Zoe Thomas for The Wall Street Journal. The revolution in artificial intelligence is hitting something very American. The drive through Fast food restaurants are struggling with an ongoing labor shortage, and now some of them are using chatbots to take your order. But how well do these machines really work? And what do they mean for both workers and customers? Our senior personal tech columnist Joanna Stern traveled to Maryland to test an AI drive through at a Hardee's, not once or twice, but over and over again. And she joins me now. All right, Joanna, how many times did you go through the drive through Around 30. I did not eat 30 burgers or 30 orders of fries. Thank you for asking. I did eat a lot of it. I feel okay. It was a few weeks ago. I'm glad to hear you survived. Talk us through how this worked. What was the experience like? Yeah, so I visited this Hardee's on Kent Island in Maryland. And Hardee's, Del Taco, Carl's Jr. have all put in technology from a company called Presto. And what Presto does is take over the drive through ordering experience with their technology, which is AI-based. You are greeted by a friendly female automated voice. They ask what you would like to order, and you just order as you would. And so I decided I was going to put this chatbot through a little bit of the ringer and ask some ridiculous things <laughs> and play a lot of loud sounds to see how the voice recognition goes. So how does it work? I mean, how does it go from hearing your order to executing it at the end? It works a lot like the systems that we already have for Siri or Alexa. So the system is using speech recognition to convert that text so the AI model can understand what the orderer is talking about or saying. Then that text is interpreted by Presto's natural language understanding model, which will then help it generate a response. And that model is in a way like OpenAI's ChatGPT or what are called large language models in that it understands a certain data set, but it's not based on a large data set. So it's not based on the entire internet. It's based on certain data that the company has programmed it. So after the system has your order, it then goes straight to the kitchen display in the back of the restaurant where people, humans, are going to make that order, package it up, You drive through the drive-thru, and then a human asks for your payment and hands you your food. Overall, what was it like trying to get a a normal order out of this machine? A normal order, it does very well. I did it many times. I ordered the big, hearty combo meal with a large Diet Coke, large fries, extra sauce. Every time, it got the order right. So where were some of the stumbles? So out of the 30 or so times I tested this, I really only had a human intercept three times. The first time was I asked for the calories in one of the bacon cheeseburgers. It did not know that answer, so a human had to chime in. The second time, it seemed to like just think that I hadn't ordered yet, and it was waiting and waiting and waiting, so a human came on and said, is anybody there, basically? And the third time was I actually had to ask for a human. I asked the system if there was gluten in a certain order, and it said no, So I asked to speak with a human. Presto says that this was an error and that the company has trained its systems that any allergen information should go to a human. What does the introduction of Presto and just AI drive-through technology generally mean for workers? Industry analysts, restaurant managers I've talked to, employees all really told me the same thing about this technology. And it's not that it replaces restaurant workers right now. It just makes up for the lack of them. Because since the pandemic, these companies and many of these restaurant chains across the U.S. have had a hard time getting employees. For instance, the Hardee's location I visited calls for 18 to 22 employees, but has only had 15 to 16 since the pandemic. And that was what Michael Cato, who's the chief operating officer of the Hardee's franchisee that I visited, told me. Now that we have Presto, our frontline personnel are more free to do other things like drop fries, assemble orders, tend to dining room guests, make our hand-dipped ice cream shakes, make sure that quality assurance in every level is to standard. We have no intention of cutting labor. You mentioned this has already rolled out at various chains throughout the country. Where should we expect to see it next? And is this something that's going to expand to more restaurants across the country? Presto itself has said that they are at nearly 350 locations. Wendy's has said that they are also working with this type of technology. It's technology made by Google. They haven't yet rolled that out. 
White Castle has been working on this. They've rolled it out in a few locations. They are working with a company called SoundHound and MasterCard. And McDonald's has been working with IBM. It's only a matter of time before we all encounter this technology as we're trying to get a burger, or as I call them, burger bots. That was our senior personal tech columnist, Joanna Stern. You can watch her full video about this on our website. We've got a link in our show notes. And that's it for today's Tech News Briefing. For more tech stories, head over to our website, wsj.com. I'm Zoe Thomas for The Wall Street Journal. Thanks for listening.